My name is Mario Anglada, my company is Oi Health. We, I'm the founder and CEO of the company and we are part of the Access to Health Air Moonshot. The problem that we're solving is access to care in primary care specifically in very vulnerable populations. When you look at the situation in the U.S., there's 36% of the population doesn't have adequate access to health care today, and those are medically underserved. So our solution is a digital, physical hybrid that provides primary care in the home and provides those patients and their clinician partners a connectivity point that provides a doctor, chronic condition management, and access to medications, all in an ecosystem platform approach. What we do is we work with institutional partners, so B2B business focused on hospitals, clinics, insurance companies, where they contract OI Health to manage their team members, their participants in patient-facing interactions. We do it at a third grade education level. We do it in 19 different languages. And the dynamic is we engage with a patient in the clinic or in the home at the order of a physician. We bring them into a platform where we manage them and we make sure that they're adherent, compliant, and engaged with their care. We've been able to show 72% glycemic control in 90 days with really vulnerable populations. So our model is really taking off because people are seeing that culturally, linguistically competent care is actually that's something that's still missing from their tool set when they're engaging with patients. We have about nine federally qualified health centers as clients today. All of them are expanding our solutions in-house. One really interesting approach was that they're asking us to embed our team in their locations so we can start focusing on care coordination and chronic condition management versus remote patient monitoring, which was our starting point. Um, on that side, we're also working pilots with different hospital systems across the U.S. We just signed and are the provider for remote patient monitoring for the American AIDS Foundation across the U.S. And on the B2B and the B2B side, uh, we're also working with Verizon Wireless to make our solutions available to their Hispanic members across the Verizon ecosystem. It allows us immediate scale. Right? The opportunity for us is we are giving the member incredible tools at an incredible value because of their affiliation to Verizon Wireless. Now, what it brings to us is obviously a footprint of hundreds of millions of potential consumers that when our partnership is announced towards the end of this year, it's gonna be a game changer for the Hispanic community because we're giving, instead of a discounted services where we started our relationship with, we're re rebuilding a more robust partnership that we'll share at a later date. Um, one of my youngest memories was one of my uncles. Um, he was a lawyer by training, a really smart guy, but could never help himself manage adequately his diabetes. So I was eight or nine years old, don't remember exactly. One of the memories that I have is going to the hospital after he had a foot amputation. And that was a shock to me as a kid, obviously. Over the course of close to 30 years in healthcare, in different functions, in different Fortune 50 companies. Every single time I noticed one opportunity, which was lowering costs to increase access. And at every one of these companies, it was an opportunity that I saw was missed. So what I did at OI Health is built a team of healthcare experts. Our average experience is 22 years in the market. And we're actually inflecting the cost curve by creating solutions that engage in the last mile, which is where the industry is finally recognized that they have to go. So our engagement with a patient at home using technology, cell phone, tablet, or other devices, is a democratizing way of increasing a healthcare access and having all these partnerships that can bring us scale through either partnerships where we're a provider of services or we provide our services to our partners is the way that we think in the future healthcare in a primary care setting is going to be delivered.
For 2022, our, our big opportunity is a revamp partnership with Verizon Wireless that we'll share details closer to, to the launch. The second big part that we're seeing is all our remote patient monitoring clients, federally qualified health centers, they've asked us to do a lot more. So one of the big things that we're tackling in 2022 is how do we leverage these partnerships and client bases that we have today to further refine our portfolio of offerings. Um, during this year, we were able to acquire a company called Homefront Health that gives us medics, military medics that we're gonna be deploying into the home. And we think that the combination of the military veteran with a training in healthcare and our access to underserved communities with a technology platform is gonna be a game changer for us because actually we can deploy a highly trained resource into the home to help that last mile engagement with patients, bringing ultimately better adherence, better compliance, leading to better health outcomes. hundred percent. Think about the, the military medic. On average, I believe that their training is around a million dollars the cost to the U.S. healthcare government. Bringing that medic when they come out and when they deploy out of the military, they have to go figure it out like many of them do. What we thought is there was an opportunity to take that resource that's highly trained and quickly guide them through a regulatory process to get their skill set validated to be used in the civilian world. So there's about 10,000 medics that come out of the military every year. And that's a labor force that definitely we think is accretive to our mission. And by connecting the underserved medical community to these resources that have been trained to work in challenging areas by military training, we think it's a winning proposition. Care uh, Network. Sorry, let me start again.